Ladies and gentlemen, let's begin with the comp video. We're going to be discussing AMD's external GPU solution known as AMD X Connect technology. Regular viewers might recall us talking about this very same technology a week or so back, but now AMD have formally revealed how it all works, and now, because they have lifted that lid, I thought I'd put this video together so we can try out a bit of a new format and also explain a few things along the way. Laptops and 2-in-1s are obviously a great deal more portable than, say, a full-blown desktop, but that's not to say they don't have a few issues. Firstly, as the device becomes better for gaming, in other words, a better GPU, its weight increases dramatically, and another big problem is that GPUs age faster than CPUs in the rest of your system. Because you can't easily open up your 2-in-1 and solder in a new GPU or add in extra VRAM, this leads to the device aging a lot faster than usual. AMD's new solution is an external dock allowing you to connect to various uh, cards in the AMD 300 range or the Fury lineup of GPUs. Now, I would imagine, but this is not officially confirmed, that upcoming Polaris variants, for example the Radeon 400 series, should function with upcoming versions of X-Connect as well, but obviously we'll have to wait for official uh, confirmation. Simply connecting the device to a Thunder bolt free port will allow the device to recognize the GPU and then configure Windows 10 accordingly. Now the bad news is that the manufacturer of the, your device needs to have a specific BIOS a SAPI extension to hook up external GPUs and this means that so far only the Razer Blade Stealth has been formally announced to support the technology thanks to the Razer Core which is the external graphics enclosure. AMD have stated that, and I quote, other vendors might allow you to buy empty user upgradable enclosures and they will accept Radeon desktop GPUs. And this obviously does hint that as time progresses, their listings will expand accordingly, which is obviously fantastic news. External GPU solutions have had a big barrier in form of bandwidth to overcome, and this is why we've not seen external GPUs really start to make an impact on the market despite attempts before. If you compare the memory bandwidth uh, PCIe 3.0 uh, times 16, which is around 32 gigabytes per second bi-directional, it seems quite extravagant compared to the paltry 1.25 gigabytes per second of USB 3.1 and that is also bi-directional. Thunderbolt 3 provides around 5 gigabytes per second which is still considerably lower than PCIe but is enough to handle most loads but obviously we're going to have to wait to see how different games and applications are impacted compared to their desktop counterparts. However according to AMD the initial results are pretty positive and it's certainly a good step in the right direction. Using an R9 Nano, AMD are claiming that hit between 70 and 90 frames per second with a wide variety of different benchmarks using the i7 6500U and 8GB of DDR3 benchmarking at 1440p. Personally, I feel if the technology takes off, it'll certainly appeal to a certain type of gamer, though it's not something I currently need. But I do imagine the ability to easily take the whole solution with you on, say, a business trip and just take your laptop with you in meetings, come back to the hotel room and then plug the X Connect in and then use the hotel's TV will certainly be a welcome change to others. So I have a question for you. What do you all think? Is this something that you would personally use if you're a mobile gamer? And what changes would you need before you would embrace the technology? Meanwhile, I would also like to say sorry for the lacking content especially for myself the past week or so, Amy and I have been struck down with a pretty nasty cold fluey thing and you can still tell I'm not exactly 100% with it today but I'm starting to feel a bit better so I thought I'd try out a bit of a new format for this particular video. Speaking of which, hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to click the like and the subscribe button but for now, take care of yourselves and have a good day. Bye.